We're in the middle of an undisclosed state. Definitely not Idaho. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. We're out here with Ross. Hello, yes. hello, Ross. Say hello. Hello, hello. We're out here with Bennett. Ross's spawn. And then right here, Brody. Ross's other spawn. Basically, as you can probably tell, we are in the middle of the mountain. So, how you doing? Because we're bear hunting. This is our first on location live stream. We've never done this, but well, I've never done a live stream outside of my basement before. So this one should be pretty interesting. Just taking a look, you can see around me, we're uh, currently glassing. So let me turn the camera around and we'll show you a little bit about what glassing really, I guess, is about. So we're up here on this big knob thing and we're spot and stalking black bears in Idaho. Now, the first step to spotting and stalking is the spotting part. So we came up here to where we can see a ton of country and then we bring out our binoculars and our spotting scopes and we're just looking anywhere and everywhere looking for little black dots which literally look like ants but sometimes they're bears so hit us with an update how's it going so far glassing well we've spotted a lot of elk we have spotted a lot of elk we've spotted about brody how many elk do you think we spotted so far today 350. 350 elk? Yeah. And he's not exaggerating at all. There's just so many here. There's some right here in the phone scope. Oh, really? Yeah, I got some Yeah, check this out. So, we have the phone scope or the spotting scope looking way over there. Probably over a mile away. Range it real quick and we'll see. But they are over there, which is not shootable. No. How far away is that? Yeah, uh, so that's a little less than a mile. But through the phone scope, we can sit here and look at them right there. They're just a bunch of elk. Now, one thing about the elk right now, this time of year, is uh, the bulls don't really have antlers yet. They have little nubs, because it's just that time of the year. They've not really grown them yet. But, but, bears. But. Bears so, is, is what we're after. Black so bears, in just, particular. They don't have to be black, yeah. but the species does have to be black. It's the first day, though. Yeah, it's the first day. It's our first day. We've hiked. We're doing a backpacking hunt, which means if you know where we are, you can maybe come kill us in our tent at night. We would prefer not to because we would not like that. We have a hard time getting here. Yeah. It took us all day to get in here. So, yeah. Which ain't bad. We're going to make a pretty epic video. Let's look at those elk again. Are those elk that was right over there still there? They are? They're not? They're gone. Oh, they're gone. He scared him away. Yeah. What'd he do, look at him the wrong yeah, way? Find a bear while we're live if we can find a bear while we're live streaming, that's gonna be insane. Someone said that's a diamond elk. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't think that's a diamond elk. That is cool though. And like, can we move it? Let's see, can we, let's zoom out if possible. Oh, wrong one. There we go. See, and like, I'm just gonna turn it a little bit just kind of looking down that point. I know it's kind of hard, but we're working with what we got. Elk all over that little point right there. They're just everywhere. Now, here's the crazy thing, though. Didn't what you say is even though there's a ton of elk right here now, that's still maybe not a great place to elk hunt because during the fall, they're just... Yeah, in the fall, they'll spread out. They'll go, I mean, there's a peak up here that's like close to 10,000 feet. Yeah. So all these herds are congregated right here. Oh, okay. In springtime. Once fall comes, they're going to be spread out. All yeah, the and then there's tons of people that fall, hunt in the fall. Mm -hmm. Springtime, there's not a lot of people out about. We've seen one other guy hiking way up over here. And yeah, he was looking for antlers. So maybe we'll get lucky and find some elk antlers. Yeah, we haven't found any yet in the last two years. Guys, eighteen thousand likes, and we might we might shoot an elk on live stream. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're out here bear hunting. If you if you can't haven't read the title yet, but we're out here bear hunting. Local time, we don't know. 449. 449 local time. A little bit different than where we're, I'm from back in Kentucky. So, yeah. This is where we at. Check out our fire, though. This is our little midday camp. Nothing too crazy. We, this, since we're, this is a pretty good spotting spot, we set up a little camp. We built a fire. Check these things out. This is what y'all want to see right here. Jalapeno cheddar smoked sausages now i'll tell you right now these things will burn you up if you eat them the wrong way 
computer in the wrong way or too fast. And then right here is our fire. We was having a little trouble since it rained this morning, but then we just found some old guys, old firewood. We just dug it out of the ground and it started right up, so. You found the new herd of elk? Yeah. Let's get on that. The elk have just been moving today. They're way over there. While they're narrowing down exactly where they are, I'll show you the gear that's on my body. So I have a GoPro so that I can make videos. Once I pop this thing down, we can see the binoculars. We have image stabilizing binoculars from SIG. These are the Zulus, I think. I think. Six. Yeah, Zulu 6. So I flip a little switch right up here and it goes to instantly stabilized. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, it helps a lot. It's not really helped us today necessarily because we've not seen a bear yet. But right about this time till dark is a pretty good time. The best time. The best time. So evening, that's a evening is the best. Evening is the best. Heard that, didn't you? So, y'all got any questions? I'll answer them. Silver Ridge Peaks, pretty close. More like Silver Ridge Mountains. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much Silver Ridge Peaks. This is probably as, as close as you can get to Silver Ridge Peaks, except the render distance is much farther than 400 meters, which is really important in real life. Where am I at? Bro, bear hunting, where's it look like? Where, where, where's the bears? All right, now that we don't know. We do not know where the bears are. Can you confirm that fact? Yep. All right, cool. What gun? Popular question. Well, it's a Nerf gun. It's a Nerf gun because guidelines don't want. It's a Nerf gun, but it is this one. That's all we're going to show you. You've seen it a lot before, but that's all we're, That's a Nerf gun. That's not real. That's not real. That's not real. But it looks to me like a Sig Cross Nerf gun, but it's not. It's a Nerf gun. It's a Nerf gun. Let me show you the ammo it shoots. I got one up here in my backpack. And here is the backpack. Absolutely massive. Makes me feel like I'm in the army. The bullets we shooting. This one right here. It is a 308. Probably a pretty good intermediate. Intermediate cartridge, I guess. Not a huge one. But it'll get the job done for sure. Okay. What y'all thinking? Got any questions for Ross? He can probably answer them. What shoes am I wearing? All right, well, I had my boots that I got back in 2012. They still fit me, so I still wear them. Then Ross let me use these things. And to be honest, they call them waiter, gators. That's about all I know about them. They, may, they keep, your, uh, keep your pants cleaner, though. It makes me feel cool, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm eating pizza, Kendall. Well, guess what? We ate pizza today, too, because we bought a pizza and packed it in here, and it tasted very, very nice. What's the temperature? 60? Probably more 50s today. 50s, so not too crazy. Not too hot, not too cold. Tonight is supposed to get pretty cold, though. And like I think I mentioned, we're backpacking, so we're going to be staying in tents for like the next so many days and so it's gonna get a little cold maybe 32 degrees that's not actually that cold so kind of but we'll figure it out let's see finding any sheds tell them about all the sheds we found ross uh it's about the same as bears about the same as bears yeah. zero yeah we're not we're not really finding any sheds how long have we been hunting all day yeah, on this trip at least Are you in Utah? No, you're not in Utah. We're not home. It's close though, kinda, maybe. I'll be honest, guys. I don't actually know if it's close or not. I know it's. I know it's not near Kentucky. Neither one of them. So they gotta be pretty close. Have I killed a turkey yet? <laughs> we'll just have to wait. Absolutely not. No, I've not killed a turkey yet. Except the one in Florida, Kentucky. Uh, okay. it didn't really go as planned. But it's technically not over, so we're all right. We did see a turkey today. We think it might have been a Jake, but we couldn't tell. But it was also in Idaho, so we didn't have a tag for it. Let's see. Ah! 
How are you liking the live stream? It's kind of random. Didn't really tell y'all anything about it, but we just kind of happened. I kind of brought it up. There's more elk. Just over there eating on the bank. Y'all, y'all comment a lot. It's pretty epic. Like I mentioned, guys, 18,000 likes on this live stream. We will shoot an elk live on camera. But if we see a bear, we'll probably shoot it on live on camera anyhow. So it only takes one. Out here in Idaho, it's pretty cool because even though the species is black bear, they come in a ton of different colors. Like they come in black, brown, cinnamon, which is kind of red. Blonde. blonde, which is blonde. And then you can probably find one blue if you catch it outside of a, a zoo or something maybe i mean you don't ever know you really don't let's see what y'all saying what's the kill count so far absolutely nothing killed a pizza though Love that. pretty Thanks. good stuff ross Thanks. matthew said hi <laughs> what gun are we using we're using the SIG Cross. But it's a Nerf gun. It's a Nerf gun. It's not real. It's not real. Can I go alligator hunting? Well, definitely not in Idaho. But I would like to one day. Let me ask you this. How are you doing today? And what did you eat for lunch? Because that's what I'm thinking about. I would show you the food we had for today, but we done ate today's rations. All we got's a few hot dogs left. I ate my I ate a pop tart. We ate some a little bit of pizza. Those hot dogs. What else did I eat? I ate a granola bar, which was mostly chocolate. So basically, a chocolate bar with granola in it and then also had some oh yeah donuts the donuts are really good we come out here and do like a super physical athletic kind of thing and then we eat the most terrible food possible <laughs> the most processed foods you could possibly come up with is what we're using the best food. crow for lunch no not quite it's actually jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage so crow Jalapeno smoked cheddar sausage. Mm, I'm gonna go with the sausage. Y'all are commenting too fast. I just can't, I just can't see it. Can you do more four wheeler videos? Um, maybe. I guess. Do. Do you have a radio? I don't know. I mean, I got phone service right now, good enough to live stream, so that might be okay. But we also know where we are, and we also have people that also know where we are. Plus, we saw some guy way over there, so he knows where we are, and we know where he is, too. If you're watching, we seen you. Chipotle sauce, did we bring any of that? Brody has some tapatio. What'd you bring? What? Good service yeah, there's good enough service to live stream a bear hunt. Let me put y'all behind the phone scope. Let's see if y'all can find a bear for us real quick. I actually think I spotted a bear, maybe. You think you've seen a bear? It looks berry? Pretty much. It's not moving. I'm going to go ahead and turn them right over here towards that green spot. We're going, we're going to check it just to make sure. So let's lock in. Let's see there we go i'll just hold you in still basically the glass we're just looking around which this is the big scope thing so this is if we spot something we kind of think's a bear we check on it to make sure but you can i think glass with this too you're just really zoomed in you don't have a huge field of view but pretty sick pretty cool pretty cool what you thinking? You thinking anything? I don't think anything. That's okay. No bears? No bears yet. Someone said we're cutting out and we're lagging. Can't do nothing about that, man. 
But that's okay. We'll just do what we can. What's my dream hunt? Hmm. I don't know. What's your dream hunt? Probably red stag. Red stag? What's your dream hunt? Probably hunt up in Alaska for a mountain goat. What's your dream hunt, Ross? Um, any sheep. Sheep? Don't, don't sheep, stone sheep. Mm -hmm. Probably stone sheep. Go stone sheep. I had a dream last night. I was bear hunting, so I guess that's my dream hunt. Well, what are you doing this October? I'm elk hunting this October. Wasn't that your dream hunt last year? It was. It's pretty big. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Stay tuned. Have, I, have you ever been moose hunting? What's Amber, it like? Amber shot that uh, big Idaho Shire smooth. Ooh. It was, that was three years ago. It was awesome. Halloween. It was on Halloween. What's moose um, hunting like? We were hunting the end of October. Mm hmm And it was crazy because the rut's usually the first part of October. Yeah. And I called in a bull from 600 yards into like 136 yards. And my wife So you called shot. it in? Yeah. It came walking in just, and it was, ooh, ooh. That was pretty cool. Did you glass it? Yeah. We spotted, just, we spotted it from like 1,500 yards, mm -hmm. got within 600 yards, and then started calling. Kind of like, it'd be like straight across can like this, and it came walking in all the way into 130 yards. Dang. That's pretty cool. That's pretty wild. That's all pretty much Idaho. I what happened in here last year? Uh. Well, that way down there. Yeah, we shot a bear in here last year, so I'm sure you guys have probably seen that episode. Hopefully, if not, you should probably go check it out. But it took us on day five to get that one. We saw 22 bears. We saw 22 bears, and that was the one that actually gave us the chance to shoot it in, for a bunch of different reasons. Those reasons are things like just being within range for the amount of time we have to, like, go after it. If it's, like, two miles away and it's getting dark, you don't really have time to go get it. They can disappear kind of fast. They could have cubs, which was a lot of them, actually. Quite a bunch of them last year have cubs. And in Idaho, if they have cubs, you can't shoot them. So, which may be a good thing. I don't know. Depends on depends on how old the cub is, I guess. But catch and cook bear. How many likes I like shoot that? and cook. So far, we're up at six hundred sixty-three likes. You said eighteen thousand. Yeah, we're about seventeen thousand four hundred away from shooting an elk live on camera, <laughs> even though so it may not be watching? elk season. Hmm. How many are watching? We have nine hundred twenty people. What you reckoning? Pretty epic. Pretty. <laughs> Y'all need to Can I do more podcasts? I do actually plan on doing more podcasts. That's like a big thing. I'm I'm hoping to plan on it, but now I'm also planning on killing a bear. We'll see how that goes. Let's check over here, see if anything else is happening. The tree has not moved. That's a good sign. That means there's no crazy paranormal activity happening out here. Really? Yeah. Spotted another elk. elk all over. There's elk everywhere. It's just the bears that we're looking for and the bears that we can't find. So I'm going to ask, are we staying the whole day? We're staying like three days. We're staying three days. I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me try turning this around. Actually, grab the spotting scope and we'll show them exactly where we're staying the next few days. So we're staying. You can actually kind of see that little yellow dot over there. That's the tent, or that's one of the tents. So, we got us a nice fire built. We got a decent thing of firewood right here. But yeah, we're gonna be staying right in here hunting bears for a good little bit. Bear hunting's pretty fun. It's a lot of binocular stuff. It's a lot of doing this. Looking, 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 looking. Looking. But it, once you see a bear that you have decided you want to go after, then it's like sprinting to the bear and strategizing and making plans. How can you go over this ridge and around this one to get up on him that way? Or should you go around this way? And yeah, pretty cool. Am I filming and posting this video? Absolutely. Someone said they saw a bear on the right side. That's crazy. We didn't even see that.
There's my tent. Kind of hard to see. Oh, okay. Oh, that's close. Try and get us hooked up right here. Or we can zoom in. There's the tent. The little yellow tent. That's us. Pretty cool. What time zone are we in? Mountain Standard, Mountain Standard Time Zone. We is in Idaho. In the Mountain Standard Time Zone. And there's my butt pad. I'm coming down and I'm coming down. I'll sit right here, lay down up against the rock and just sit here and look. It's pretty fun. Let me answer some of y'all questions. So ask some questions and I'll just go through them and answer them real quick while... Ross is doing all the heavy work. He's out there looking for bears, but I'll answer some of y'all's questions for the next little bit. Let's see. Um, where in Idaho? Well, we can't really tell you that much because you might come in here and steal our tent. That'd be bad. We don't have a tent. We're going to have a bad day. Let's see. see any bears yet? No bears. Still no bears right here in bear country but no bears what type of dog is may so if you don't know may joambus my squirrel dog slash coon dog slash possum dog slash dog she is a cur mountain cur is bear meat good i'll say this i think bear meat's my favorite wild game meat i don't know about spring bear spring bear may not taste as good or does it he thinks it's better. It's not as fatty? I like the fat. I like bear meat because it's like, there's a lot of fat in it, but it's actually like makes it slimy, which is really weird. But I like, I, I think it tastes pretty good. You, I think you got to cook it the right way though. Like if you cook steaks, maybe not. But if you make it with like stew, it's pretty, it's pretty busting, busting. Let's see. Uh oh, messing up. How's Steve? Steve is doing pretty good. Steve can't complain right now. He's 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 having a good day. He's garden garden everything, making sure none of the chickens get eaten by wolves and stuff. Am I tired? Not really. I mean, it's only day one. We have hiked all day, but we're not not necessarily tired. Are you tired? No. You're snacking on a honey bun. Let's see what you got there. Honey bun. Mmm, it's good. That's a little good. smashed, but... That's good stuff. I didn't even pack a honey bun. That might have been mistake number one. Yeah, definitely. I'm trying to figure out how to hold the chat still. Cause it, it moves no matter what I do. When am I going pigeon hunting again? I don't know, man tough question i ain't really thought about that how is the farm going farm's going pretty good back home um we're actually getting i'm actually been getting a lot of pictures from trail cameras i have set up and similar to how the elk are here back home the bucks just they're not growing their antlers yet so i'm seeing a lot of deer but i can't tell too much about them because they just don't have their antlers yet so hopefully throughout the throughout the spring here a little bit later in the next few weeks, I think, I plan on like a, planting some stuff at the farm so that this fall we'll be able to have better stuff. Or I mean like better food for them to eat, like plant stuff. Because right now, the only thing that's at the farm, if you remember, is like a hay field. And the kind of grass that's growing there, the deer don't actually like. It's really good for cows and really good for hay, but it's not good for deer. So... Right now we got that big field in the bottom, but deer don't really care that much about it. So, but we're gonna work on that. That's pretty easy. We should just be able to plant something and hopefully fix all that. What rifle are we using? I'll turn it around. I'll show you a little bit again. It's that one right there. It's a Sig Cross 308, 16 inch barrel, which is pretty short, especially for ranges like this. But if you understand the bullet drop, and have it kind of figured out, then you're going to be A-OK. -okay. You're going to have no problem hitting it. It's just, is it enough to kill it? And the answer to that is a yes, whenever it finally does hit it. 
I should go turkey hunting, someone said. Yeah, turkey hunting or bear hunting, y'all pick. I've done a little bit of turkey hunting so far, but now we're letting that rest a little bit and we're going into some bear hunting. Dream animal to eat. That's kind of tough. I mean, I, I part of me just wants to say walrus. I don't know how it would taste at all, but I just maybe dream dream hunt. I'd say elk. Dream meat to eat. I'm gonna have to go with walrus. Walrus, walrus or manatee. Never heard I think manatees might be federally protected, but that don't stop it from being a dream meat. I guess. I bet manatee would be good because they can swim pretty quick. Do you do you have MREs? We actually don't have MREs. We have something common. Do you have your food with you? Oh, yeah. Let's show you some of the food we got. I've already ate all my food for today at least. The rest of it's back at camp, but he brought some of his food. We'll show you what kind of food we're actually eating. Hmm? Yeah, bring it over. Or Bennett, do you have the food? Here's our snacks. This is like free, freeze-dried strawberries and bananas. Pop it open if you want, and let's eat one and see how, how we like it. Bring some of that food over here, too. That's the main food we're going to be eating. Oh, look at that. There's the bananas and strawberries. I'll try a strawberry. I ate some of these last year. Mm, yeah, I'm taking another one. Okay, right now I'm eating freeze-dried strawberries. It's not like crunchy, but like when it touches water in your mouth, it really just like melts. Oh, here's a banana. A freeze-dried banana. Okay, those are a little crunchy. Freeze-dried banana. I like the freeze-dried banana more than the strawberries. The strawberry gets like dust everywhere. He brought his whole lunchbox out here today. Oh Instead of something like an MRE, which would actually be pretty cool. But instead of an MRE, which is like the military meals where it's a bag and it has like all kinds of different stuff in it, we opted out of that. And we decided to go with more normal, a little bit normal meals that we get to choose. And just bring our own snacks. So, like, we got donuts, honey buns. You can't get those in the Maurice. What you got? Let's see what kind of... We're actually using Ready Wise and these. But I have that one back at camp, too. This is pretty much a dinner. It's So, for dinner, I got pasta alfredo. Dude, that's good-looking stuff. Now, you may think... Listen to it, though. It doesn't sound good, and when you open it up, it don't look good because it's just like freeze-dried pasta Alfredo. But once you put hot water in here and let it sit for like 10 minutes, this stuff turns really good. And honestly, it's just as good as I think if you just like cooked it normally. Well, maybe not as good, but it's still really good. How you liking them? Pretty good. Pretty good? I like the bananas. I think they're good. Then what else you got? Spicy Asian noodles. Spicy Asian noodles. I did not choose this one. More spicy stuff. Spicy Southwest style skillet. This one don't have a picture on it, so no. it's already breakfast skillet. Breakfast Come skillet. On. What is a breakfast skillet? And just just like a bunch eggs. of sausage. Freeze dried sausage. shredded potatoes, scrambled eggs, pork sausage, peppers, and onions. That's weird. Then this is, is it, you using this for breakfast too? I'll probably eat that for breakfast, yeah. This is coconut berry multigrain, so kind of like oatmeal. I think I got one of those for breakfast. This one's pretty much like all of our favorite. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, it's called strawberry granola crunch. Oh, is that good stuff? Yeah, it's really good. Do you put water in it or it's hot cold, water? Cold water. Oh, so it's kind of like cereal. Yeah, pretty much. So does it turn into cereal? Kind of. It says it's got non-fat milk in it. Yeah, it's like pretty much just water milk. What's this one? That one's a dessert. Mango sticky dessert? rice. Dessert? Mango sticky rice? That looks pretty good. That one's actually really good. Yeah. 
What is my favorite gun caliber? I don't know. I like 308, but all of them, all of them will pretty much kill anything. Just about. Someone said to do an invasive hog hunting video. Invasive hog hunting? coming That's crazy. we got one coming really soon it's really good though i think you guys will like it hope so that's what we made it for when is the kg gun channel coming back never. potentially never i don't actually know because youtube's just so weird with guns and it's so risky because if if i keep posting on the gun channel and YouTube all of a sudden decides that I can't do that anymore and starts ki or kicking off, banning my videos or whatever, then I'm, me, Kendall Gray, is never allowed to have another YouTube channel. So if that channel gets deleted, all of the channels get deleted, and that is not good. So, how old am I? I am 22. I'm getting old, dude. Getting old. It's sad. Hmm? No. It's called getting. <laughs> How is May? May's doing pretty good. Favorite gun? Mm. I like a lot of guns, so it's hard to have a favorite. Let's see. What's my least favorite gun caliber? Ross, what's your least favorite gun caliber? Let's say for bear hunting that people still use. Cause bears, bears can, cause like, you know, 22 is not good for bears, but bears can range in a pretty big range of size. Cause we shot one the one I shot last year was about the size of my dog, Steve. But they get as big as... What? Big? 300 pounds. So yeah. Bears, uh, out here. Oh. Probably a bigger back east. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think... What's the caliber that... I don't know. You don't like for bear hunting? I'm going to have to say... Uh, also 6.5 Creedmoor. Really? It's very popular. Shoots really good. More accurate. Mm -hmm. But they shoot so good, people shoot them too far. Mm. They don't have the energy. So people shoot them 800 yards, they don't have the energy to kill. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. But then again, you could, as long as you're ethical and you get within a couple hundred yards, it'd be a great for bear. Yeah. So. What do you think about 6.5 on an elk? If that's all you got, get close, mm -hmm. behind the shoulder, you got it. But that's like, once again, people try to shoot long range. Yeah. And it's a 140 grain bullet and doesn't have a lot of energy. So, yeah. yeah that's a tough one. Like I said, any, any gun, yeah. any caliber will work. Mm hmm. Just a matter of you know, shooting in the right place. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a really tough one. <laughs> What's your favorite caliber for bear hunting? I don't know. $28 probably. <laughs> there you go. Good one. What's your favorite you caliber for bear hunting? 308. 308. I don't really bear that hunt too often. I've killed two bears. Both of them were killed with three away, but. Ben, you shot his with a 6 5 Creedmoor last year. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying that wasn't bad. He killed it. Three, I remember you were so happy. Let's see. Three, two, one. How much bow hunting do I do? Not that much. The only time I really use a bow is whenever I'm in Kentucky trying to kill a deer because Kentucky's bow season's way longer than their rifle season. But if I have a chance to use a rifle, I'll probably use a rifle. What's your favorite? Let's see. Where is Mammy? Not in Idaho. She's back home. It's a good question, though, I guess. Mammy bear hunting? That'd be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? That would be crazy. You should do that. Yeah. What if I throw a knife the bear? I had a request to throw a knife a bear. I could do it. Throw, throw a knife? That yeah, bear? like throw a knife oh. and kill it like that. 
like Call of Duty. I'd like to see it. That would be worth a lot more than 18000 Yeah. How many foxes, foxes have I hunted? Hmm. I don't know, fox isn't really a species I target. I trap a few, but I, I've not actually hunted, I've not actually hunted any predator. Except maybe a bear, but I don't, a bear's kind of a predator, but not like a coyote. I don't even coyote hunt. Like, I need to a little bit more, but I just haven't had the knowledge of how to bear, of how to coyote hunt. So, that's kind of one thing. Ross, can you give us a small crash course on how do you spot and stock bear hunt? Like, what do you, how do you even start? And then what do you do once you start, I guess? The biggest thing is finding a good spot. Mm -hmm. Finding an open country where you can actually see. Like, mm -hmm. this is an old burn. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't burnt, mm -hmm. it'd be a lot harder to spot bears. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I'm in a more open country. And then I like to spot them in the morning. I have a lot of people that say I like to shoot them or spot them like from 10 to 2. Yeah. I usually spot more in the mornings than in the evenings. In the middle of the day, I don't see. You'll, you'll catch them every once in a while walking a little bit but mostly getting up to a, a good spot where you can glass a ton of country like we are here and mm -hmm. just kind of a lot of times i'll spot bears with my naked eye because they're a big black thing mm -hmm. um, and so when i first get to a spot i'll go and look just kind of scan everything and after that we just get behind the binoculars and just glass and grid and you kind of look for certain spots like right now the bears are eating grass mm -hmm. the green grass so if you can find a lot of like really bright green they'll usually be in areas like that like that one last year we spotted way over there that was actually just right up this draw you yeah know, like the only green spot in the whole draw mm. then once you spot them you got to get within range of them and sometimes that's hard because i mean we could spot one at 15 1600 yards yeah and not be able to get to it before it gets dark Mm -hmm. So that's the nice thing about us going to be camping in here. Yeah. If we spot something right at last night, we can run over there and try to get it. And then we're a lot closer back to our camp last year. We had to hike all the way out three miles and then get in the truck and then drive up to where camp was. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. That's kind of it. Just a lot of glass. A lot of glass and a lot of middle of the days like this. I had an interesting request. Hmm. Can we shoot a bear with a 50 cal? So it would have to be under, I believe you can't shoot in Idaho or anything under, it has to be under 16 pounds. The gun? The gun. So if you can make a lightweight 50 cal, maybe. Yeah, because they, they kind of, they want to get away from people just sitting in my... <laughs> I think it's 16 pounds is what I want to say, but I don't know that for sure. <laughs> I didn't know that. What's my favorite hunting game? Probably Hunter Call of the Wild. It's a pretty good game. How long until the next catch and cook? Um, probably not that long. We don't post as much as we used to. We, we're just we're trying to make videos just as fast, but each of the videos we're trying to do bigger videos, I guess. And so, unfortunately, bigger videos that kind of take longer to make it kind of cuts into how many videos we're able to make. So, right now, we're posting pretty consistently every other week. But we would like to post more than that. But at the rate we're actually getting videos, because, like, this video right here is going to be a banger video, but it's going to take a week to get it. So, I mean, if it's taking an entire week to get the video... And then it's going to take another few days to edit the video. Then right there, you're already sitting at a week and a half to just get a video ready. And that's what kind of makes it hard to post too often because, I don't know, time. I'm trying to make really epic videos and they just, they take time. If we, just, if we wanted to make a bear hunt, a one day bear hunt, there's a chance you'd never really get a bear. So we come out here and try to put in a lot of time. For this hunt, we're putting in a long time, I guess, in order to try to have the best odds to get a cool bear so that we can do this. How do y'all like the live stream out here? I know that I think this is like the first 
on location live stream I've done where we're just literally in the middle of Idaho looking for bears. And I don't know if y'all like it. I think we can probably do more. Good thing about bear hunting is that you don't have to be extremely quiet all the time, especially since we're some of the places we're looking is like hundred, hundreds of even thousands of yards away. So we don't have to be whisper quiet all the time. See, Ross is over there. He's checking out that whole thing over there. So it's pretty far away. I know, we need to find us a bear on live stream. Someone asked if I ever hunted pheasants. I actually did hunt pheasants. And if you want to check out that video, you should go to Kendall Gray Vlogs. Type that in, and then it's one of her most recent videos. And, um, yeah. One of my, it's a, it's a, it's a different. Was that a bee? There's a bee right there. I thought it was something trying to eat me. Can you hunt bears with a pistol? Yeah. You can. You can hunt bears with a desert eagle then. Someone said it wasn't real pheasants in that video. I agree, but it's still kind of real pheasants. Kind of. Have, have we update on the bears? We found anything? I've looked at probably 10. You've looked at 10? Yeah, like, I'm looking at one right now. Yeah. It's just... I don't know where it's at. Yeah, you just don't know where it's yeah. at. We're gonna find one. I'm I'm gonna say we'll find one tonight. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Have ever I have never been duck hunting. Have y'all been duck hunting? Really? Yeah. Get on the spotting scope. I shoot this. We, got, we spotted something. We spotted a coyote. Alright, we're moving up. We're moving up. Get the spotting scope out. Guys, we just spotted a coyote. Which is not a bear, but it's closer than an elk, I think. Huh? Have you seen the coyote yet? The coyote's somewhere over there. I've not found it yet. We lost him, but he's not completely lost yet. We got a coyote out there. We're still trying to locate it. Everybody's got their binos out. I'll go ahead and join them. Make me feel included. How far away do you think that is? Pretty far. Because looking for a coyote at that distance... 350 looking for a coyote at that distance with the naked eye not terrible not not impossible it can be done but coyotes move fast so was he on the move oh he was standing okay he might still be there while well, they're trying to check out that you find it okay pull out your phone scope if you can check out all these tracks though all these tracks are from elk there are elk all over the place here you can see all the tracks let's get a purple phone and check out this coyote look at look at these acorns fun fact these aren't acorns this is elk dookie oh sweet we're gonna see a coyote right here on the live stream Wow, look at that. He just, he doesn't really know we're here yet, does he? Oh, I think I see him. No. Wanna shoot him? Yeah. 
76. the bear if there's one here waving guys should we shoot it comment below should we shoot this on the live stream oh it vanished it better disappear hmm at least we got phone scope up huh that's weird hmm huh. he gone You found him. Where'd he go? Feet right there behind that. Mm. We can spot a white guy up. Yeah. Yeah, there he is moving. Is he really over here? Can you see him with your naked eye? Yeah. I don't know where he is for a second. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, we could shoot him. He's coming towards us. How about if he gets within line? He's coming right at us. Kinda. Uh oh. What do you think? <laughs> oh, look at that thing. It's coming on. He's coming right towards us. He's coming right at us. Spotted a coyote. He was about, he ended about 350, but last time we saw him, he was coming towards us, so. by the rock, back to the fire. See if I can see anything from this area. So if y'all just jumping on, we just spotted, we've been, we're out here bear hunting in Idaho, uh, trying to kill a bear. We've seen almost 400 elk, which is insane, but it's not elk season, so we can't really kill elk. This is the country we're hunting. This is our little glassing point, because we can look out and we can see absolutely everything. And just a few seconds ago, or minutes ago, we're also actually spotted a coyote right over there. We got pretty good clips of that. Here's our fire blowing smoke right in our face. Let's hop on over and check it out. Okay, okay. Our fire, not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Got a few new pieces of wood on there. They're starting to burn. They're a little wet. Nothing, something light, nothing heavy. We are in Idaho, so. Have I ever hunted with dogs? Yes. Have you ever hunted with dogs? Yeah. Mountain lion. Mountain lion. Mm -hmm. Is there many mountain lions in here? Yeah, there'd be some. Pretty good bit. Mm -hmm. A few. Yeah, I bet. You just don't hardly ever see them. Yeah, you don't ever see them. Elusive. Mmm, elusive. That coyote said he might call us. Explain it. Call the wild terms. Um, we spotted, we spotted a coyote within render distance. Um, he was in a, he was transitioning from a feed zone. He was not, uh, he was, traveling. he wasn't in a feed zone, so he was traveling. Yeah. He was a level. Nine, legendary. No, no, he wasn't. I think it said a seven. He was level seven. He was a gold. I don't know. He was a gold. He was a gold. Probably 
29 trophies. So, pretty solid. Mountain Bluebird? State Bird. Ooh, check it out. There goes a bird. Update on the bears? Uh, still no. Still no? Yeah. Still early. Still early. Ooh. Are we on the legendary black, ba black bear grind? Are we on the legendary black bear grind? <laughs> Currently on the the great one black bear grind but that coyote got real close and he, he last we saw that coyote he was coming towards us so i don't know if we get lucky he might run right up on us and that'd be kind of cool how are y'all liking this live stream i know i mentioned this but pretty epic What are you thinking on the coyote? We don't see it. So he's he's probably in this thick stuff, then, isn't he? He's probably pretty close. Whew. Pretty epic. Tell me what you're still thinking. How far have we hiked? Well, let me show you this. We started our day right there. That's where we started our day, and we had to make it all the way up to where we are now. So, we've hiked a good little bit today, a lot. We're hunting over a burnt forest, which is pretty epic, but what's cool about a burnt forest is that all the trees are dead, so you can actually see through them and actually still see bears and stuff. So, hunting a bear, hunting a burnt forest, it's pretty epic. And about orange, Hunter's Orange, in Idaho for bears, you don't need it legally. So, there's just so few people that's really hunting, and it's so open. Not many people really get confused for bears ever, because, well, we've been in here all day long, and we've only seen one other guy, and he was way up there. There's only three. What? There's two more. People? Okay, so we just spotted. Is that them? They up there right now? I think so. Don't like where the snow patch is up to the left. Okay. Yeah, they're still there. Where at? On the skyline. Skyline? Is there trees behind them? No, they're wide in the open. Really? Oh, that snow patch. No, I don't see it. Oh. Yeah, I see them. Never mind. So, yeah, I mean, the only other hunters we see is way out there. And it's not like we're going to get them confused with a bear. So, yeah. That's why we don't have to wear hunter's orange. And maybe, maybe there's another reason. But that's one reason. It's because there's so few people out here. Chances of us actually getting a person confused with a bear is very low. Ooh, let's answer some questions. I like the hat. I don't know if you're talking about my hat or not, but thanks if you are, because I like it too. Epic. Mike Colton, the kid, you said you had a question. Let's hear it. What you got? I should hunt in Colorado. Colorado pretty similar to this. We're in Idaho, so I feel like it should be it. Silver Ridge Peaks is in Colorado. Silver Ridge Peaks is in Colorado? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think so. How is Sheba doing? I don't know guys. Sheba died actually like six months ago. I guess I, I guess I never told you, but yeah, Sheba's dead. It's kinda sad, I guess, but yeah, Sheba's dead. So that's how she's doing. As for May, she's doing good. As for Steve, he's doing good. And we actually have two new dogs that y'all haven't seen. They call themselves the Beagle Boys. We're going to have to get it. We're going to have to do a live stream. We're going to have to. As soon as we get back home, we're doing a Beagle Boys live stream. 
So get ready for that. You get to meet two new dogs live stream. It's gonna be pretty epic. I should hunt Maryland. Man, I'll be honest, dude. I don't even know where Maryland is. I know it's somewhere up there, up up into the right, but about all I know about it. How is Peanut? Man, Peanut's been gone for three years, man. I traded him for a rooster. I ain't seen him since. Hey, uh. Huh? Hey, I said Bowen Bristol want a shout out. Who? Bowen Bristol. Give him one. Not oh, from you. Hello, hey, Bowen I, Bristol. I, I see them every day. <laughs> what part of Idaho? Uh, the woods. North, central, southeast. There you go. Yeah, 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 that one. Everyone spam RIP for Sheba in the comments because she's dead. Thank you, Jack, for letting me know that y'all are going to start putting R.I.P. Rip, Sheba. She was good. Yeah, Amber and the kids are watching you. I got you on the TV. Ooh. R.I.P. Is Mammy good? Yeah, Mammy is not dead. So, that's a good thing. Sheba's dead. Mammy is not. How old is she? Mammy, she's 147. Almost 150? No. 147. She does. You don't. She once you age. get to 147, you stop aging. You just stick right there. Probably. Minnesota. I don't know if I've ever been to Minnesota. That's an interesting one. What was for lunch? Today we had pizza, which is cool. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. It's kind of snacks. snacks. That's about it. Which, uh, Idaho time, it's almost, what, 6-something? Oh, 542, so, all right. So, Idaho time, we're probably a couple hours out from dinner. And for dinner, we're going to be eating some freeze-dried meals. Yo. Going to be pretty epic, ain't it, Bennett? Sure. Yeah. How's Kanye yeast? Dang. <laughs> Kanye's dead, too. What about this? We just need to do an update on all the animals. They're all dead, man. Let me just sit here and go through them. Let me go sit on a rock. And I'll, we'll go through all the animals that y'all know about. Yeah, I mean, crazy. I, I guess I just ain't had a way to tell you. Sheba. Rest in peace, Sheba. Spam it in the comments now. Steve. Steve is still alive and thriving. May. May is alive and thriving. Tree and squirrels on the daily. Um, the Beagle Boys, who you have not yet met, they are not smart, but they are still alive. And that's what matters right now. Kanye East, he is dead. R.I.P. Kanye East. Spam it down in the chat. So, what happened to Sheba? She died. She's like 86 years old. So, she, it's about, sometimes that just happens. What happened to Kanye, though? Because Kanye was not supposed to die. Well, we was just sitting there working on a dirt bike. Me and Ethan was. We sitting there working on the dirt bike. Kanye walks down the hill, gobbles at us, says, what's up? We say we gobble back, you know, stuff like that. Things we do every day. Then he walks back up the hill. We don't think anything about it because he literally walks up down the hill like 5,000 times a day. Well, he never came back down the hill. Ever. We didn't think that much about it because, you know, we don't really pay attention to Kanye. He just kind of exists. Exists. But the next day, we was like, hey, you seen Kanye? No, not really. We went on the search for Kanye East. When I went up the hill in the little field thing, guess what I seen? Not Kanye East. I seen his feathers. They were scattered out everywhere. It was pretty bad. Kanye East died. So I think something, so something got him. Well, that'd be an owl, a hawk, a bald eagle, Ricky Bobby, coyote, fox, bobcat, stray dog, neighbor's dog. We don't know. We don't know. All right. So Kanye's gone. How's Ethan? Ethan's still alive too. So he, he's not dead. That's good. That's good. What else? Bullet? Bullet is alive. If Bullet, if you watch the, if you watch one of the most recent, Kendall Craig vlogs. Bullet is now my uncle, so we kind of just we kind of just gave it to my uncle because, you know, it's a chicken, so we kind of did. Fire truck, fire truck is Daryl's. Um, fire truck is Daryl's 
that fire truck was really mean to everybody. Um, I gave him away. Actually, I traded him for a guinea, and he kept attacking the new owner. And I'm glad I got rid of fire truck. He was very, he was very mean. As for Daryl though, Daryl's a good dude. You know, he'll do anything for you. He'll, uh, he's the best rooster I ever had. I'll say that Daryl's the best rooster I ever had. He's just, he's just doing his own thing. He's a good dude, and he's still alive. Everyone put W Daryl in the chat. W Daryl, good job. You're still alive. As for the rest of the chickens, most of the chickens are still alive, so that's good. Um. How's the bunker? The bunker is still um, alive. It has not collapsed yet. What other animals we got? Chad? Yeah, Chad the Nomad. He died a long time ago. All the goats died. We actually sold the last few goats, so it's not all bad. But the emus died. W. Durrell. Durrell's one of the last things I got going for me. I'm going to be honest. I've had that chicken for like five years. He's a good dude. I like him. He's a good guy. He'd do anything for you. If he's broke down in the middle of the night, 2 o'clock a.m., Daryl would come get you out. W. Daryl. Best chicken I ever had. Do I regret getting the animals, although they died? That's a good question. Um, No. Well, maybe I should because... No, not really. I mean, they did die. Was it my fault? Obviously, I'm going to say no, but... I mean, maybe I should have been... Had a babysitter for Kanye, so that... I'll, I'll tell you this right now. Kanye's death was not my fault. It was Steve's fault. Steve was supposed to be guarding Kanye, and Steve was just sleeping under my truck, and Kanye got... He got off. He got knocked off, okay? So it's Steve's yeah. fault. L. Steve. Steve, Steve is the reason for Kanye's death. I'm going to tell him about it, too. I ain't really told Steve that before, but whenever I get back home, I'm going to go up to Steve. I'm going to tell him, listen, buddy, you're responsible. You ain't getting out of this. We'll take him to court. Actually, we won't. Because Kim, who was Kanye's girlfriend, also died. This is bad. This is really bad. This is supposed to be a bear hunting live stream. Now we're just going through all my animals that died, so... What else died? Let me think. Kim, Kim's, Kim's been dead a long time. Um, which was a, f a female turkey, aka a hen. Let's see. What else did I have? I never had a horse. Luckily, that'd been bad because it probably died. I never had a cow. Probably also luckily, my uncle had some cows and they're doing good. Llamas. I've never had llamas. I thought about it. Luckily, I didn't get them. Turkeys. Donkeys. I thought about a miniature donkey, but I learned you couldn't really ride them because I'm too big, so I didn't get it. Sheep? No, no. I know. I, I don't want. No, I don't even want to get near a sheep, man. I know exactly what's going to happen to them. They're going to die. Sheep, dude. Here's the thing about goats. Goats are probably the most pitiful animal I've ever seen in the world. Like they just, they just walk around and look for a reason to die. They just look for ways to die. That is true. It's really, it's like, they, I think we should cancel goats because they just, they're not cool. I don't like them. Prove it wrong, prove me wrong. I'm not really a big goat guy. How's the pond? Whew. The the new pond we've been building? Well, it's not dead because it was never really alive. Since y'all on the live stream, I'm a spoil, okay? The pond has a leak in it, a big leak, and it will not hold water. So, if the pond was living, it would be dead, which is bad. Everything's dying. Everything's dying, man, except black bears. Can you believe it? Why can't that happen? I don't know, because Ross can't find them. Ross can't find us a bear. We're just up here talking about animals, and he's, he just ain't finding bears. What do you got to say, Ross? Find a bear already. Sorry. Stop playing around. Find a bear. We're talking about dead animals. <laughs> a cat? No, I never had a cat, luckily. I don't... I think a cat would be really cool, but only if I could train it to climb up trees and, like, kill squirrels for me would I want a cat. But I think a ferret would be really cool, too. What do you see, Dad? 
He's got that smile on his face. How's Bucky? Bucky is uh, unknown. His status is unknown. If his status was known, we'd go try to kill him. Would I rather have the mule or the defender? Mule. I'm going to say the defender. Because it just. Defender? Huh? How was your defender? The defender is, not, is still alive, so that's always good. Huh? After the crash? Yeah, after the crash. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, the, the defender almost died, but luckily we just tipped it back over and drove it out. So that's good. The crash is on the vlog channel. Everything that's cool happens on the vlog channel, just so y'all know. So if you've not checked that out, you probably should. Kendall Gray Vlogs, it's pretty good. Y'all got any questions? Because y'all are like live during the live stream. Really? Yeah. What do you think the people want to know? What has been your favorite video to film? What's been my favorite video to film? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I like a lot of them. My favorite video to film. Uh, I don't or, know. That's hard. Or your favorite video in general? My favorite video? I like the Idaho bear hunt from last year a lot. Which is pretty cool because that's what we're doing right now. Episode 2, kind of. Favorite deer killer? A gun. Specifically, I don't actually know. I think just about anything can kill a deer. Yeah. So that's good. Super baby gun. Ah. Yeah. If you take a BB gun in the right place at the right time, you can probably kill a deer with it. Yeah. I probably got some people watching right now who have done just that. Probably. Which is illegal, so don't don't say you have if you have. How don't rat yourself out. Hmm? How many deer do you have now? For now we have two hundred and forty two. It's been pretty stable. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. What happened to Sean the deer? Ain't that the one I killed? Sean? He's Sean. Sean. I think. Yeah, that's the one I killed. Sean's dead. He's at the taxidermist. Estimated time. Three years. Three years we'll get him back. So stay tuned. 2028. We'll get to see that mount. Pretty cool. What's my favorite gauge? I actually like 20 gauge because it doesn't weigh as much. It doesn't kick as much, and if you shoot it in the right, if you shoot it and hit it, you're probably gonna kill it, no matter what it is. And 12 gauges do have more pellets and stuff, but 20 gauges have plenty enough pellets. Someone remembered when Mammy almost RKO'd the mule. You remember that? Mm -mm. You don't remember that? Do you remember that? <coughs> when Mammy about like totaled the mule. Oh, yeah, the mule. Yeah, the mule. About, like, an actual mule. No, not an actual mule. She's done that too, but just not on camera. Yeah, she, mm -hmm. she about killed me. Ross, any update on the bears? Uh, nope. No bears. No bears. With that being said, goodbye.